I'm here. I'm at NAM. I'm excited. So, I was supposed to go to a panel this morning at 8.30, which I missed because I was tired. So I slept. And then I was supposed to go to a panel at 9.30, and I left my Airbnb at 8.45 thinking like, yeah, I'll make it here by 9.15, I'll go to Starbucks, get a coffee and like a wrap, and just go straight there. And the traffic on Catella Boulevard, which is like, it divides like the convention center and Disneyland, the traffic was so bad. It took, so I'm like six miles away. It took almost an hour to drive six miles. So by the time I got here, the panel had already started, but I, like, I'm not really feeling well right now because I haven't really eaten a full meal since yesterday when I flew in. So I'm like, I need to get breakfast. And the line at Starbucks was really scary. It was like, it was like the, 50th person to get in line, I don't even know. And it's funny because they read my name off my badge and like my full name is on it. So like when they called my full name, I was like, am I in trouble? Because <laughs> like no one calls me by my full name unless I'm in trouble, like my parents or my family, you know, whatever. But now I've got my mocha, I've got a wrap, I'm gonna eat that. I'm probably gonna miss this session and I'm really sad because it's a Generation Next session, which like, I'm with that group so I should be there, but like, I need to put my health first, obviously. Like, I don't wanna walk in there and pass out. So after that, I'm gonna go to a couple of talks. Um, I think the next one is about like giving lessons because I am going to be giving songwriting lessons, guitar lessons, and maybe ukulele lessons in the future. And then after that I have a break until like one. Music. Um, and I'm probably gonna go hang out at the Taylor booth because um, I'd love to go see Kala. And I need to find a capo because I want to play my songs, but like all my songs are capoed and I didn't bring my capo because I am intelligent. So I need to find out where I can grab myself a capo. But I'm gonna have breakfast now and we'll see how the day goes, but I'm excited. I've missed being in SoCal. It's very different from my respective Bay Area, but you know what? It's nice. I'm in love. I can't believe I'm gonna live here. I'm gonna fall asleep right here. I'm going to live here for the rest of the convention. I'm so happy. You guys, I'm in my happy place. Also, Taylor created faces. They now have the GS mini face, and I am so excited because I'm a tiny human and I can't play big bases. But these are small, like they're Gabby sized. I'm so excited. So once I'm not broke, I'm definitely getting myself a Taylor bass and like every guitar on the wall too, but you know, hashtag guitar player problems. Oh my gosh, Nam is off to a great start. Um, I talked to a couple of Taylor people. I talked to Terry and he was so nice so knowledgeable I just I love everything about Taylor people because like they know what they're talking about they're so passionate about it they just love what they do and that's what I love about Taylor just so much it's just like looking at this these are the custom guitars so these are like people are like I want my guitar to look like this and have this and can we just talk about how pretty they are Ooh. I want this one that one that one's pretty I also really want an electric guitar because I need to start getting some grit in my music. So, yeah. Oh, I don't want to leave. I'm at Kala now. Look how cute these ukuleles are. I want the clear one. So these are called the Waterman. So they are the water resistant durable ukulele. This is so cool because I could take this to the beach and like play it like literally in the ocean and it would be fine, like that's so cool. They've got some gorgeous ukuleles over here too. Also shout out to Miss Marlo Teichman because she's a color artist. These are your children. These are beautiful. These are the elites. So these are like the really fancy. Oh really? That's good to know. And these are the U-Bass 
eat lunch. I just ate like an entire bowl of falafel with pita bread and hummus, and it was amazing. It's really windy out right now. Um, it was raining this morning, so I guess we're just getting wind now. Um, yeah, so I've been chilling at, let's see, mostly Taylor. I went to a couple of sessions in the morning. Um, I went to Kala for a little bit. I was hoping to talk to someone about, because um, I want to get an acoustic electric ukulele, but they were really busy talking to like professional vendors. So I was like, yeah, they're not gonna uh, notice me. <laughs> so I'm probably gonna go back later when it's like not as busy. Um, I also went to Deodario and they have like, that's where I get like all my picks, all my capos, all my everything. So I went over there, that was super cool. Oh my goodness, this is amazing because it's sunny. But yeah, so Convention Center is behind me. I'm having a great time. I'm just so happy to be here. Like this is really solidifying the fact that music is my career and it's always gonna be my career. I'm always, always gonna be a musician, no matter what. I mean, unless you like snap my wrists in half and or like sever my arms forever. Hopefully that won't happen. I'm just, I'm so happy to be here. I've met a bunch of wonderful people at Taylor Guitars, and I just really hope I can work with them one day because everyone there is just amazing, and they really represent everything that I want to be as a brand, as a company, as a person. <laughs> but all right, I'm gonna fix my lipstick. I'm gonna go catch some performances, and yeah. Hey guys, I'm back from Nam day one. I'm back in my Airbnb and it looks like no one's home so I'm gonna talk in a slightly louder voice. Um, but I did spend a lot of time at Taylor today and I did get some things I wanted to just show what I got. So first I got a water bottle and it's my favorite kind of water bottle. It's the one where you like press the button and then the thing flips up. So I'm really excited and I already filled it with water because I know I'm going to get really dehydrated during this event because there's a lot of stuff going on. And then um, when you get a Taylor guitar and you register it, you get a subscription, you, like you get a subscription to Wooden Steel, which is their quarterly magazine. But for some reason, like I didn't get this one this season. It's the winter edition for 2017. Like, I didn't get it. I don't know what happened, so I just grabbed one and was like, okay. Um, I also got, like, one of their, um, like, sheets that shows, like, the new models they have for 2017, which is super cool. I personally really like the Academy series. Um, I was playing their nylon string one and was like, I want it. Well, I mean, I want all of them, but you know. Um, I haven't played the 814CE Deluxe yet, but I don't know. Like, the 814s have never really done much for me. Like, I think they sound nice, but they're not my favorite, which is funny because they're, like, everyone's favorite, but I don't know, not for me. And Taylor finally, finally uh, came out with a bass, and the nice thing about their basses is they're really small. So for someone like me, who's a small person who, like has issues like stretching her fingers to play like a normal bass because everything's closer like doesn't hurt me because I suffer from tendonitis especially in this wrist which is my fretting wrist which freaking sucks and I've also broken this wrist before so yeah but I am so excited like I'm gonna ask them like when do these come out when can I get one because now I can learn how to play bass finally so super pumped about that and then I got their performance schedule. Um, today I saw Tolan Shaw and Smithfield play, and they were both so good. Like Tolan, um, he's a solo artist, and he did a lot of work with a loop machine, and oh my god, I need to learn how to use a loop machine. Like, he was so good, and oh, like, I just, technology is so cool, like, the stuff you can do with it. And then Smithfield was a duo from Nashville, and I, when I hear the Nashville draw, I'm just like, draw, drawl. <laughs> I'm just like, yes, um, they were so great as well. Like their harmonies were just spot on. And then tomorrow there's gonna be some more performers and Saturday. So I'm really excited to see that. And then my badge, <laughs> that's important because without it I can't get in. Um, I went to Starbucks and got a 
marble loaf, which I will eat later. What else did I get? Um, I picked up the Nam like event guide so I can have that to look at. And I also went to Kala and I picked up their catalog for 2017, which I haven't actually really looked at yet. Um, but I am looking for a new ukulele that's acoustic electric, so I'm going to be looking in here and see if I find anything I like because their factory and headquarters are in Petaluma, which is a lot closer to me than Taylor. I mean, and obviously I'm going to go back to Taylor's factory like I've visited it before, but they don't really make ukuleles and Kala does, so there's that. And then also from Kala, I picked up this little thing to like shows you like how to play a simple song this is really cute oh this song and then it has like um the tuning of a ukulele which i know and some basic chords which i know most of these i know c g f a minor i didn't know e7 i know a i didn't know c7 i didn't know e minor i know g uh, it makes sense that g7's like an upside down g G minor, that also makes sense, and an A7 I didn't know. Okay, cool, so now here's um, 12 chords I can play with. Woohoo, even though I knew like most of them. I picked up this sticker, which I think is really cute because it's like guitar strings over a sound hole that's a heart that's adorable. And then, uh, of course, one of these stickers because me. Um, what else? This is some warning that came inside the water bottle that it's made of plastic because, yeah, my receipt, because y'all don't want to see how much money I spent. <laughs> Actually, all of this except the water bottle were free. This was not. Um, I got a hoodie from Taylor, and it's really cute because it's like two guitars, and it says established 74. Taylor Guitars is 20 years older than me. Holy wow. Um, so yeah, I'm excited about this, and this is like a men's hoodie, but I was like, you know what, it's thicker, because like the women's hoodie is like made of that like crappy thin material, because like fashion, and I was like, yeah, no, I'll get the thicker one. <laughs> oh, and I got a official Nam 2017 t-shirt from Taylor, which is really cool. Yay, so I can remember that time I went to Nam. Straight out of college, and that's everything. So that's my Nam Day One haul. Yeah. But yeah, it's been a good day. And tomorrow's going to be even more fun, I'm sure. And then Saturday and Sunday are going to quiet down a little. Um, there aren't as many events going on Saturday and Sunday. I know Sunday, like, everything pretty much ends at like 4. And it's really annoying because I would have flown home on Sunday, but it is so expensive to fly on a Sunday. Like, I would have paid $200 for a ticket back to San Jose. Like, what? No. It's like how much I usually spend to go to, like, St. Paul. Like, no. So, I decided it was... Well, actually, I didn't decide. I checked. And it was cheaper for me to stay in the Airbnb one more night. And then I am flying out Monday morning, and all the flights were the same price, so I was like, I could take the first flight out, which is at like 6 a.m., or I could take a flight at like 11, 15 a.m. and actually sleep in a little bit, because they all cost the same. And I'll figure out how to get home from there, because I won't have access to a car, because both of my parents will be working, so I'll have to figure out how to get home. <laughs> I mean... Uber, Lyft, hello. But yeah, okay. Well, it's the end of Nam Day 1.